Hey, welcome to Vid Society. This is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to do an in-video review for you. Many of you have been asking me, messaging me, what do we do now that Vidnami is not going to be here in the next month and a half? So I'm going to show you the number one tool that I use as a Vidnami alternative. But what I want to do is show you a demo of another video that I made for one of my clients. And then I'm going to take you in and show you some features of InVideo and how you can use it. Now, InVideo does offer a lot of features that Vidnami offered. And in fact, they offer more features. They offer more templates. There's more that you can do to control your videos using InVideo. And so if you stick around, I'm also going to tell you how you can save an extra 25% if you subscribe to InVideo today. So below this video, there'll be some links. You can go there. You can check them out. There'll also be some other resource links there. You might find informational. You can look at those too. Okay, so here we are inside of my InVideo account. This is my dashboard where it shows you all your drafts that you've previously created that you want to work on. You can see I've went through several today just looking through different ones, new ones that they have. Right off, you can see that they have pre-made templates, over 4,000 of them. You can do text to video, which is what uh, Vidnami done. You paste in a script, it breaks it up, and it creates a video from it. You can start from a blank canvas, and there's a whole lot more you can do too. So what we're going to do is jump in. I'm going to show you a demo. This is a video that I made quite some time ago for one of my clients. I'm going to let you watch just a little bit of it so you can see what you can do if you want to manually create your own video even if it's like a high quality video instead of something that you're just making fast and throwing up on YouTube to try to get some more traffic but you can create some really nice quality high quality videos using InVideo because you have total control over every aspect of your video so let me go ahead and play this and you can watch a little bit of it Okay, I'll go ahead and stop it right here, but you can see it has some really good high quality videos, images, just different things you can use uh, similar to what Vidnami did. So let me go ahead and close out of this and we'll actually jump back over to the home page here. And what I'm gonna do is just show you how quickly you can set up and have a video going if you use InVideo. So first of all, up here you have three different um, menu items. One is tutorials. So if you need help how to create videos, watch these tutorials they show you step by step this one here the article to video shows you how to turn any text into a video which is what Vidnami done uh, you can also here learn how to use the editor uh, the editor allows you to really go into the video and micromanage and change the video to make it really unique and how you want it in fact many of you once you start using this and you really get into it you may find that this fits you better than what Vidnami did. But there's a lot of other links that you can check here as well. Uh, depending on the plan you get uh, will determine a lot about the type of quality of assets that they give you or media that you can use within your videos. Now it does come included with a lot for free. You can actually have a free plan. If you go to uh, tryinvideo.com, that link's under this video, and if you go there, you can sign up actually for a free account and you can use it. You do have limitations. I believe there's a watermark on it, uh, similar to what Vidnami done. Uh, but you can still use it and try it and see for yourself just how well it works. Then you can upgrade. There's a couple different plans, whether you do uh, monthly or annual, which can save you some money. And then, of course, uh, the link. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. I'll have another link under this video. Go down there in the description box, and it'll say something like 25% off special discount. Uh, where you can save, if you go through that link, you can save 25% on any one of those plans when you sign up. But when you start with InVideo, you can come down here and you can choose whether you want to start with a pre-made template. And I can scroll down here and you can see that there's templates here. 
And what's really good about this is some of these templates are completely done and ready for you to use. You could come in here and you could start with one of these templates and just change a little bit of the text and have a complete video for yourself. Uh, so for example, let me just scroll down here for a minute and we'll look through a few of these and you kind of give you a better idea of what they are. And as you hover over them, you can see that they kind of expand. And then if you click this little arrow here, you can jump into the template itself. But we're gonna scroll on down here and you can see there's even product video ads. So if you want to promote products, uh, they already have templates made up for you. Uh, some of these are very short. They may only be 15, 20 seconds, which is great if you wanna do like a TikTok video or even a YouTube shorts video, which is something that I'm getting into now that it's more available. Uh, but we can go on down through here. There's bite size ads, there's greetings, list equals. Now these things here, this is where you're gonna be able to create your informational videos and you can really customize these. So let's say we want to create something for content marketing. Let me just go ahead and click on this. And when you do that, it gives you an example of what it looks like. And then you can choose if you want wide, square, or vertical. And then you can just choose use this template. Now as we go in here, you can see this looks a lot different than what Vidnami did if, you're used to, if you were used to using it. Uh, but everything is right here up front for you to do. Everything is click change, um, upload your own logo, click on it, change your logo. You have layers over here, you can adjust your zoom, you can play it here, you can play scene from the start, you can skip. Your timelines down here, you have voiceover where you can have automated text to speech, you can import from uploads, upload your own file, or just record your voiceover. And you have control down here over your timeline as well of each of the scenes, and you can just add more to them. You can add blank scenes, add more from template, there's a lot you can do, and if you take the time to really research and mess around with NVIDIA, you're gonna find it has a lot of features, and you can do so much with it. And you can see up here, it even has an editor where you can adjust the font, the font size, the colors. Uh, you can animate it, add text sh shadow, things that you couldn't do with Vidnami. Over here, you can add scenes. You can simply just uh, click in here and do a search and it'll pull them up. You can upload your own files. You can choose from videos. So from here, you can choose from iStock or premium media. Now, in order to use the premium media, a lot of that, how much of that you can use, which comes from, I believe, Getty Images, depends on the plan that you get. Because if you were to go to Getty Images and purchase even just two or three images, you're gonna find out just how expensive they are. And they've actually integrated that with NVIDIA and depending on the plan you have, you get access to so many credits per month so where you can use those high quality images or videos in your videos and the content that you create through NVIDIA. And so if we wanted to come up here and just do a quick search, let's just say something for weight loss. Hit enter. We'll give it just a second to load these up. And then if we scroll on down, you're gonna see that uh, the, it, just, it just keeps going on and on and it tells you how many seconds they are and you can get a demo of them uh, to see what they're like and just click on it. You can drag it over and just add it to your scenes. Uh, very, very easy to do. Uh, you also have over here images. If you don't want to use videos, you can include from iStock or include Bing.com images. They have music here, uh, text, different styles of text that you can add to your videos, which really makes this to stand out. You also have where you can add logos, folders, where you can organize all of your media. Uh, but what I wanna do, I'm not gonna go ahead and take this any further because you guys can jump in here and get a free account if you want and try it. But I do wanna show you how to create one from text like you were probably used to doing already with Vinami. So we're gonna go back to our homepage. We're gonna click on text to video. And Okay, here we go. And now we're gonna choose one of these styles that we wanna use. So you can scroll down here. A lot of these may look a little bit uh, familiar to you, how they look. Let's just scroll down here and we'll use this one here. And we'll go ahead and just use this template with the normal video size. Now, they are constantly updating in video. In fact, I logged in today for the first time in several weeks. Um, and I couldn't believe how many changes were done to it. And they're even adding more down here. You can now have an option instead of adding a script to add a URL and they will 
collect data from that page and scrape it and use it in a video that they'll create for you automatically. Or you can add your own media files here too. So these are two new options that they're just adding. You can see they're still in beta. But for option number one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create just a short video here. And I'm using Article Forge. Absolutely love this tool. I'll put the link below this where you guys can get a five day free trial if you wanna try it too. But the quality of the articles and content this thing creates uh, it just blows my mind every day when I come in here and I keep creating these articles. I'm like, man, these are really good. And so I, I created one here on weight loss tips right before I started this video. We're going to go look at it. And this is the content. I just done a short one. It says, if your doctor tells you that you must lose weight, there are numerous ways to lose weight quickly and safely. So it sounds really good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these first two paragraphs and copy them. And we're going to go back to NVIDIA and I'm going to paste them in here. And then for the headline, we're just going to call it Weight Loss Tips. Now, this works very similar to what uh, Vidnami did. So if you have one big paragraph here, it's going to try to cram all of it onto one scene or one video. And you don't want that because you're not going to be able to read it. The text is going to be so small. So what you want to do is break it up line by line by each sentence so it'll break up each of those sentences into a different slide. So if you don't do that, it's going to tell you that and it'll do it automatically. So for example, if I don't automatically go through here and break up this article into sentences and just click next, it's going to tell you, hey, that's too much text for one scene. Do you want us to rearrange it for you? And I always choose rearrange text. And you can see it breaks all the sentences down into separate lines for you automatically. So if you have a long article, that's very handy. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. And we're going to let it set up all of our scenes for us with images and videos. It does a pretty decent job of it. Normally I have to go in and change a few of them. Uh, I will admit I think Vidnami was a little bit better of the artificial intelligence part of being able to pick out images and videos and putting it together but this does pretty good and and you can come in here and you can change anything of your own so for example you can see here weight loss tips and it shows this building that doesn't make much sense but as we go on down through here you're going to see a lot of the other ones uh, that they do fit with it so what I'm going to do is I could come up here and come over to let's say I want to do a video and just type in weight loss hit enter you want to hit enter because if you hit this button it's going to ask you to upload your own videos Okay, so now we have all these videos which we can swap out if we want to. So for example, say this one here, I'm gonna drag it and just replace it with this media. It adds it in here and then it asks us if we want to trim the video. So right now, the video looks like it is about five seconds long, which is fine. It's a little bit over five seconds. So I'm just gonna leave it that way and click done. And then we'll come down here to our next one. This one I don't like at all, so I'm gonna come over here and we'll pick another one. Let's just do maybe the one with walking. I'm gonna drag it over and replace it. Now this video is 26 seconds long, which is way too long for a slide. Most of my slides are usually only like five or six seconds. So I'm gonna grab this end and drag it down to about five seconds or a little over, and then click done. And you can see down here, it puts the text in the box. Uh, it, it'll look better than this when the video is actually done. This is just like a low resolution version of it. But we can go down here and we can do that through the rest of this. Uh, I'm not sure why it has a picture of these kids playing sports, but we're gonna go ahead and just switch it out for, let's say this video here. And I'm gonna drag it down. We'll make it say a little over six seconds just to mix it up a little bit. Now we can do that the rest of the way through here. And let me go ahead and I'm just gonna delete some of these to make this not as long. But most likely when you come in here, you will have to edit a lot of your images or your videos, which you should do anyway if you want it to be a good quality video. Now with each one of these slides, you have a lot of options. One, you can click play and you can watch it you can choose how you want the text to be displayed on each slide. So by default, you can see this one says headline, this one says story, story, story. So the headline, you can change if you want. So if we change this to story, uh, it says that it's gonna change it, you sure, and we'll say yes. What it does is it puts it down here in the lower left. Or we can do something like a quote. 
and it makes it show like that or we can do like a question and it shows it like that so I'm just going to leave it as headline so this is the main part and then down here I'm going to leave these a story that way the text is at the bottom uh, but you have options here it says select the text you want to highlight so you can select the text let's say numerous ways to lose weight quickly and then if I click this it's going to highlight it and you can see it changed the color of it and then we can go into this and change it too by clicking edit so if I click on this it's going to bring up the main editor so you can come in here and this is where you can really fine-tune the slide if you want to go that far if you don't you don't have to worry about it you can just click this X exit out and come back here now lots of times you're going to see this it says text is too long split is suggested um, I normally don't worry too much about this if, if it's this long it's fine it's, it's, it's going to look fine so we're going to leave this all the way it is if I wanted to go into the advanced editor I can do so up here as well to edit all of my slides I can resize it this is really neat so if you have this whole video done already uh, you can come in here to resize and you can resize it to square or even vertical and have different versions of this video made so once you're done uh, what you want to do is you can come over here and you can change any of this stuff here you can change your music your logos but you want to click on download and share and you can actually choose uh, 720 or 1080p so you can have a higher quality version of a video here and you can see here that I used one iStock media uh, my monthly quota is 120 and this leaves me with 117 left usually within one video I will use one or two premium images so 120 will last me easy throughout a whole month which is fine uh, if not I just use the other videos and images that they have included with a subscription so once you're done you want to go ahead and click export I'm just going to, yeah I'll just leave it at 1080p I'll go ahead and export it and then I'm going to pause the video until it's done now while this video is rendering it's going to save it under your projects and under your projects you can always come back in here where you can edit it you can re-download it and over here you can also share the video so over here you can get the link for it you can share it on YouTube Facebook Twitter uh, you can duplicate the video into a different version of the video and they will send you an email when it's done rendering so you know so we're going to go ahead and just let this finish and then we'll look at it and see what it looks like okay so it only took about three minutes the video is done uh, one thing that I remembered I didn't do that I should have is I didn't change the music so I'm not sure what kind of music is going to be with this video uh, but we'll go ahead and watch part of it just to see so you guys know what they look like Okay, so that gives you an idea. It works very similar to Vidnami. I should have changed the audio because that really doesn't go with this video at all, but at least you guys understand how it all works. Uh, very similar, and you can go in there and you can change out anything on your own as well. So the one thing that I do recommend is if you're trying to create content for your YouTube channel, uh, I'm going to highly recommend that you guys try out that Article Forge. Like I said, you can get a five-day free trial of it using that link below this video. Uh, and it is an amazing way to go out there and get any kind of content from any any keyword or any topic or any niche and create a unique article for you that's very readable that you can use for content for your videos or anything else you want to use it on but this is in video uh, guys it's a great tool it's what I'm going to be using now in place of Vidnami uh, simply because it offers a lot of the same features but yet it offers a lot more features that's going to allow me uh, to really learn how to use this tool well to create better quality videos uh, for my own YouTube channels as well as for uh, my clients. So this is my in-video review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. Uh, also subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon if you want notified when I do more video reviews like this and training tutorials on making money online, video editing, or anything around those topics. So that's it for this video. Thanks, guys.